guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you on this look right here. It's really pretty and pink. Now it's inspired by this dress that I'm wearing here. So yeah, it's really pretty kind of glossy lips and pink eyes. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then please keep watching. Let's get into this tutorial. Starting off with a bare clean face, I just have moisturizer on right now and I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids and I'm using MAC Painterly Paint Pot just all over both my eyelids and I blend it out with a Real Techniques brush and also with my finger. Then I take e.l.f. Camel Concealer and a concealer brush and I'm just going to use this very lightly around my brows because I do have a few blemishes that came out recently around there so I just want to use this to cover them up before we put on our eyeshadow. Then I'm taking the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette and I'm taking this skin tone shade and just applying it all over my base and the concealer to set it before we apply our shadows. Then I'm taking this shade in the corner with a larger blending brush from Morphe and I'm just going to use this as our main transition shade so it's just going in the crease and blending upwards. Then I do dip in to the Juvia's Place, the Nubian palette and I'm going to take this warm brown shade here with a smaller blending brush and I'm just going to mainly focus this on the outer corners and in the crease as well to add some dimension to the eye and deepen up that area. Then in that same palette, I'm taking this really pretty duo chrome pink shade and I'm applying it with my finger just because I want to get maximum intensity and get the most opaque look from the shadow. So I'm just using that with my finger and then blending it slightly with a smaller blending brush. Then I'm taking ABH Norvina Volume 2 palette and I'm taking this really pretty shimmering white shade. It kind of has like a duochrome of some gold. I'm applying that on the inner corner and just using my finger slightly to blend it in with the shade that's around it. Then with a smaller angled brush, I'm taking this black shade from the palette and I'm just going to smudge this really close to my lash line to create some dimension to the lash line and it's going to act as sort of like my eyeliner for the day. Then I'm taking Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and just applying that with my fingertips to the center of my face where I seem to have some larger pores. Then I'm going to go ahead and color correct my under eyes with this Tarte Color Corrector. It's like in a peach shade and I'm just applying that with a really fluffy brush very lightly to my under eyes to cancel out any dark tones there. I am also going to take uh, some of a green corrector from LA Girl and I'm just going to use this with my finger over any blemishes that I may have just to correct any of the redness before we apply foundation. For my foundation, I'm taking the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Fetish Foundation and applying that to my skin with this IT Cosmetics Buffing Brush and just making a nice layer all over my skin, making sure to blend it down to my neck as well as on my ears so that way we don't look like we're wearing a mask. I'm going to cream contour with this Graftobian Foundation Palette and I'm taking the darkest shade from this palette with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and using this to slightly contour the face. Then I am going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. Camel Concealer and I am going to use this Japanesque brush to conceal my under eyes and I do also uh, alternate with the e.l.f. Uh, sponge that you see here and just making sure that everything is blended in those areas. I 
took Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder with a sponge and just applied it to the knee areas where I had applied the concealer just to set it as well as I did go a little bit heavier handed on under my contour with the powder as you can see me do here a small bake just to clean it up make sure that it was nice and sharp there but I didn't leave it on for very long then I took the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm with this Dallium Tools Tapered Brush and I'm just applying this to the perimeter of my face to set our cream contour as well as start sort of like bronzing the skin, adding some warmth back in but this one is a little bit more cool toned so I went ahead and just went over it with a little bit of this Morphe bronzer that I have here because it is a little bit more of a warmer tone and I want it to be a little bit more bronzy so I went over top of my cheekbones with this warmer bronzer to start bringing some color back in. Then I'm taking this Tarte blush in the shade Parte with an angled blush brush by Morphe and I'm just applying that to my cheekbones to start bringing in some blushy tones there and I am going to go over top uh, for my highlight with this Wet n Wild uh, highlight and it's a little bit pretty of a softer goldy tone champagne -y tone so I went ahead and applied that over my cheekbones as well as a little bit over my nose and over my brow bone so that the when the light hits it it kind of adds like a really beautiful glow to the skin then with MAC Fix Plus just giving my skin a little spritz here and jumping back into the eyes with the ABH Norvina palette, I'm taking this brown shade from this palette and I'm just going to go ahead and smudge this onto my lower lash line. And I do take a blending brush with no additional product and just blend out the edges to make sure it's seamless. Then I will be giving both of my top lashes a nice curl and preparing them for mascara. For my mascara, I'm taking this Estee Lauder mascara and just giving my top and bottom lashes a nice coat of this. And my camera did cut off part of the lipstick process, but I did go ahead and first apply um, Smashbox Stylist Matte Lipstick and went over top of it with this uh, Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. And that's it for the look. So this is what the final look is like. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Check out the description box below. I'll try to link as most products I can down in the description box so you guys can shop it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in my next video. See you for now.